Hey guys, so I have a fairly big Timu haul to share with you guys today. So I have stuff in a bag, Oop, that fell, and stuff in a box. So I have a lot of stuff. Not sure how many items I have here, but uh, we'll find out. <laughs> and as always, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, all of the links will be provided in the description box down below, as well as if you have not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there is a link in the, descri in the description box that you can click on, sign up, and get a $100 coupon bundle. So I'm going to dump these. So they're all dumped. And we're just going to get started. So the first thing is a pair of socks. These were 99 cents. These I bought from like those flash sales or flash deals, whatever they're called. Um, and these I got for my stepson Brody. And these are Five Nights at Freddy's. I think this is Foxy, whichever the red one is. He's going to like these. I got him the bear Freddy. Um, but yeah, so he'll like these. Then I got him another pair of socks that were $1.29. Again, one of those flash deals. And these are Chucky. And these will go nicely with his Chucky hoodie that he got for Christmas. Or I don't know if it was Christmas, but he got a Chucky hoodie. But yeah. And I apologize if you hear a leaf blower. My husband, again, that time of year and timing, it's always being done whenever I'm out in my camper filming. <laughs> um, but yeah, every time I think he's done and I start filming again, if you can hear, he starts back up. Um, but anyways, <laughs> moving on. So this, I actually lost. It fell out of one of the bags but I found it. So this I actually bought one of for myself and my daughter. Um, this was two nineteen, dollars and this one, it's an emotional support pick pickle. I got um, refunded on some of it with the, uh, what do you call it? The price adjustments. So it went down to like a dollar something, but it says emotional support pickle. I will always be around to let you know that you are a big deal so cute and it's just a little cro crocheted pickle then these i got on those flash deals as well or are they called lightning deals maybe they're called lightning deals flash deals with Shein, right lightning deals okay <laughs> um i got these little pimple patches i've never tried these but i see people wear them all the time and i wanted to try them out they are only 71 cents for one sheet and it comes with different size stars and hearts so we'll see if they work who knows <laughs> next up this was a dollar 79 i believe or dollar 29 no a dollar 19 <laughs> this is a ring set and i thought it was really cute it's pink and black with barbed wire so let me take off my ring set that I have now on now. And I'm a size five and I got this in a size five. So the barbed wire is going to go pointing down. There's the barbed wire. It's really hard to tell, but it's got like barbed wire around the outside and then two little rhinestones. So that's gonna point down. And then this is what this ring looks like. And there it is. I think that's how it goes. But let me check and see. Because I don't think it would fit the other way. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't know. Does it go this way? With the barbed wire going this way? Or does it go the other way? You be the judge. Which way do you think looks better? <laughs> but it's cute. I like it. A nice pop of color. Then these next two items I got for Brooklyn because she's really into the loom band stuff. Um, so I got her a pack of bands. These were $1.34. I don't know how many are in there, but there's quite a bit and they're all different colors. 
colors. And then, um, is this, okay. And then there's those like little tie things, connectors, I guess they're called. There's a pack of those in there as well that are just clear. And these connect the two ends of the band together so they form a whole loop. But she came home one day and she was like, oh, look what I made at school. Um, and uh, she was really into it and asked me if I could get her some more of those. So I did. And then I thought these were kind of cool. This was 79 cents. And there are 500 pieces, random colors. And they're the little, connect like the little connectors I showed you but they're all multicolored and there's a bunch of them. So these are going to last her like forever. <laughs> so I got a pack of these and then all I got to do is just replace the bands every once in a while when she runs out and she's good to go. This was under $3 for all of this. Then this was $1.36, but it price adjusted down to like $1.07. And I couldn't believe how cheap this was. So this is a screwdriver set with like replace like interchangeable heads. And of course it's got to be taped to where I can't get it off. <laughs> so it comes in this little tiny carrying case, but I thought that was a lot of pieces. It was like 36 pieces or something like that or 48 pieces. But I was like, that is crazy. So I don't, oh, that's a little socket wrench thing. So all of these go into this hole right here. It's not magnetic, but how do you get it in? Oh, you gotta like loosen it, I guess. Put it in there and then tighten it around. I don't know. I don't know. It's not going in right. I don't know how to like put it in. Does it go here? Oh, it goes here. Oh, this is the socket. Okay. So this, go this one goes in here and it's like a little socket wrench, I guess. I don't know. But that was that piece. Then there's all these like little pieces that you just stick in here but I don't understand how it goes in I'm gonna have to read the instructions like does it does it tighten around it or what because this is not doing anything but there is a little thing right here but that doesn't make sense for that to be in like that so um I'm gonna have to figure out how this works but once I get it to work it's a really nifty useful tool but that is a lot of pieces so uh yeah if I can get this to work this is going to be totally worth it if not then I wasted a dollar but <laughs> uh and then it comes in a cute little carrying case next up I bought this on a whim. This was $2.96. I have been wanting to get my nose pierced for a long, long time, but didn't want to pay $60 to do it. I have these disposable one-time piercing guns. So, uh, yeah. Wish me luck. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I don't know how. But um, this is a two set. So you use it. You pierce. You throw it away. It's disposable. You buy more if you want to make more piercings. It's just the way it stays sanitary. Because I feel like. Or I know that any piercing gun. You can't share. Like, you can't use it on other people. Again, like, it's just not sterile after that. It's not sanitary. As, mu as much as they say it is sanitary, it's not. Um, 
and then it comes with a whole bunch of like jewelry as well as um in these two i feel like is it in these two guns yeah in the two guns it's got the starter jewelry with the like sharp piece for it to go through and then when you're ready to change you just take it out um and change it and these are supposed to all be surgical steel so um or stainless steel so um they're not supposed to have nickel in them but yeah we'll see we'll see i don't think i'm going to do a video on this because it's probably graphic and I, I might get not monetized because if it bleeds or something like that, but who knows? Um, but I'll definitely, once I use this, let you know how it went and all that. Maybe I will do a video. Who knows? Um, all right. Next up, this was $3 and 59 cents. And this I thought was the coolest thing ever. It's a pen, but it's not really a pen. It's a makeup pen. And it's one of those like, but it's a four in one makeup pen. So it's got, um, it shows you up here. So it's got eyebrows. So here's the eyebrow pencil. Let's see if it's my shade. Kind of. It's a little, little like warm for my eyebrows, but We'll try it. Um, then we've got lip liner or lipstick. Then we've got eyeliner. And it actually, if I go like this, it goes pretty thin. And then we've got can, highlighter, highlighter. Let's see. Ooh. That's really pretty. So let me know. I have not done a makeup video in a while, you guys. So let me know if you want me to test this out in a video just to see how well it works. But these are the swatches. And judging by the swatches, they're pretty nice. Let's see if the eyeliner. Ugh. The eyeliner is not waterproof, though. I don't know if I like that, but it's got some nice colors, nice pigments. But yeah, let me know if you want me to test this out in a separate video. So next up, I have three of the same kind of thing. These are diamond art paint paintings. Um, the first one was a dollar. And I kind of don't want to like open, open it. But I will show you just what the little picture looks like. And these are kind of small, but decent enough that, uh, that there's quite a bit of stuff. So the first one is a cute little turtle. And I'm actually probably going to work on these after this video with not feeling well. Um... Yes, this is pre-filmed when I was getting over being sick. With not feeling well, um, this will be, like, extremely relaxing to do. And the size of this is 20 by 20. This is also 20 by 20. I'm going to leave this one in, and I'm just going to show you. Oh, I can't. All right, we'll open this guy up, too. So this one is a little dragon. How cute is he? I think I might do him first. And these kits also all come with the little tray, the little glue stuff, the wax stuff, and the pen. I can't get that one back in the bag, but uh, here's the last one. This one was a dollar eighty-eight, and I forgot to say how much the dra the dragon was a dollar thirty-four. And this one is a little bit bigger, this last one. This one is 20 by 25. And it's, um, it's hard to see, but it's a little like fairy 
kind of scene with like mushrooms and stuff like that. And I also, in a way long ago order, got some, um, what do you call it? Some diamond art glue, like finishing glue that I was going to use like in place of Mod Podge to like seal my stuff, like seal my epoxy stuff, which I never used. And I got two of them. Um, so I figured I could use that to seal these so that I don't lose the diamonds once they're finished, which I think I'm going to do that so that I can like hang them up or something like that. So next up, I got this was two dollars and 17 cents and i know we're in march already but i just had to this is one day at an effing time 2024 sweary mental health calendar and i'm going to show you all the months so here we have january sometimes i wrestle with my demons sometimes we just cuddle and then at the bottom it's supposed to have like an inspirational kind of quote and it says breathe in the good Exhale the bad. But that month's already over. So for February, we have hold on. Let me overthink this. And then all of your feelings are effing valid. I'm just going to kind of do a few. Just because for time. All right, we're on March. Here's March. I don't have enough serotonin for this. And then... Life is effing tough, but so are you. Just going to kind of like go through. You can pause and read if you would like to. There's July. Whoa. Why is July before June? I didn't even notice. Or does that say May? Oh no, that says May. I thought I was reading July in the camera because everything's backwards, but I wasn't. <laughs> Here's July. August. September. October. November and december so as soon as i'm done with this video this is gonna go get hung up or i'm gonna use it for my schedule i don't know i don't know it's gonna get hung up somewhere and it can hang up it's got a little thingy right there to hang it like on a nail on the wall or something all right next up so i have two pairs of shoes actually i have three pairs of shoes the first two are for Royce. So this one was $7.18. But I thought they were too cute to not buy. And they are little Spider-Man shoes. But they're like, I don't know, like thick, soft material where they just slip on. He loves slip-ons. Um, and they're size 29. Child's. 29 um I forget what size these were I believe these were like um an 11 and a half maybe 12 in American size but yeah he's gonna like these and then I got him a new pair of Crocs because the ones that I bought him two years ago are too small now um so I got these a size up maybe I got them I might have gotten them two sizes up these were four dollars and 22 cents because they were big when I first got them so they were like crushing his toes now but these I got in a size 29 30 so these are actually a half size bigger than these shoes but they should fit pretty nicely and they're in black just like his other ones but now he has ones that will fit him and then for myself I got a pair of Crocs these were three dollars and 91 cents and I got them in 
purple. And these are 36, 37. But I needed a new pair of Crocs for the summer and I like purple. All right, moving on to, this was for Royce. This was $5 and 17 cents. And this is a pair of pajamas, but I'm not a fan at all of the material. These are size seven, eight years. They're a little big. They're, they're gonna be quite big on him right now. So he'll grow into them. I sized up just in case they were like on the smaller side, but they weren't. Um, but this is that shiny material that I can't stand. Maybe he'll like it, but I can't stand this material. Um, and it's stretchy. The last pajamas that I ordered from Timu, his like tractor ones, uh, excavator ones, they, uh, they were a nice cotton. These are them silky ones, fake silk, nylon, I don't know, rayon. And then up here, it's kind of falling apart. I don't know. I don't know. Should I ask for a refund? Because these were quite pricey considering the quality, but sometimes that happens, especially with clothing, but it's got little place are these PlayStation controllers, PS4 control or PS5 controllers. I think all over it. I think those are PS5 and then it's got next level skills on it. And then the back, it's just full of controllers and then the pants match with the controllers. So they're really cute. I'm just not a fan of the material at all. All right, now we're on the last two items and these are a set. And the first one that I got, let's see, which one's the smaller one? I think this one might be the smaller one. This one was, yeah, this one was $5 and 17 cents. And these are for my camper and they are going right in the kitchen when I'm done with this video. So this is when you walk in the camper, it's bigger than I thought. Um, it's what you step on to wipe your feet. I got some cheap thing from Dollar Tree that I'm just not the fan. I'm not the biggest fan of like, it doesn't match the whole aesthetic, the whole decor of the camper so I got a nice camping hunting type one so this says adventure awaits wild and free and it's got some deer some mountains deer heads trees super cute and it's huge for five dollars that is really big and then the second one I got was 670 and this one is the longer one and it goes in the kitchen like where the sink is so that you don't get like water all over the floor and stuff and this is like the runner same um same matching theme like it's the exact same just different shape so yeah I'm excited to put these up as soon as I'm done this video they're going right in there but yeah that is everything. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that you see, all of the links will be in the description box down below. As well as if you have not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there is a link that you can click on, sign up, and get a $100 coupon bundle. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye!